Hi guys, today's topic is aligning moment. The contents will be mechanical trail, pneumatic trail, total trail, and finally summary. As usual, I prepared a quiz for you. Uh, what is the correct description on mechanical trail? Mechanical trail can be made regardless of cast angle. Cast angle not equal to zero always makes mechanical trail. In any case, a bigger cast angle uh, makes a bigger mechanical trail. Uh, let's find out the steering axis. Uh, we have a, a strut assembly here. This is a Macpherson strut with a spring and a shock absorber. And we have a, a knuckle assembly here. And we have a lower arm. And this is a ball joint. In the case of a Macpherson strut, uh, the bearing of its upper part is mounted to the body and its lower part here are mounted on the knuckle assembly here and this knuckle is mounted to the ball joint attached to the lower arm. The steering axis is the straight line passing through the both of uh, bearing center here and the ball joint center here. This is a straight line here uh, because a uh, steering rotates about this axis. Another axis is required to define the mechanical trail, which is a, a vertical axis to passing through the wheel center here. Mechanical trail is the projected length onto the longitudinal direction for the distance between the points where the vertical axis here and the steering axis meet the road surface respectively. This length. In other words, mechanical trail is the projected length shown in the side view. Normally, the steering axis inclines at a certain angle, psi. Uh, that angle is called cast angle. If the steering angle uh, leans backwards, it has positive cast angle. If it leans forward, it has negative cast angle. You cannot say there is a mechanical trail whenever you have a non-zero cast angle. In the left picture, the steering axis is perpendicular to the road surface. Uh, therefore, cast angle is equal to zero. But uh, we, we still have a considerable mechanical trail, as much as this amount. On the other hand, in the right picture, steering axis meets a vertical axis on the road surface. Here. Uh, therefore, we have positive cast angle, but the mechanical trail is equal to zero. I explained the self aligning moment uh, with respect to the side slip angle. At the beginning of a small side slip angle around here, a self aligning moment gets bigger uh, with the increment of a side slip angle. Uh, but it starts decreasing uh, right after its maximum. In this graph, maximum side slip angle is around 4 degrees. Uh, since then, self-aligning moment continuously decre decreasing and changing its direction the when the sl slippage area of tire contact patch increases uh, beyond the threshold. In other words, its sign uh, goes opposite plus to minus. And this graph, uh, that is around 11 degrees. Let's think about the front left tire steered to the right. As we have already known in the previous video, number 1017, in the lower side slip angle range, the self-aligning moment is acting so that its direction is running into the screen. 
at this point with the lever arm length L sub P, uh, which is pneumatic trail. On the other hand, the aligning moment by mechanical trail is acting so that its direction is coming out of screen at this point uh, with the lever arm length L sub M, uh, which is mechanical trail. For the front left tire steered to the right, in the lower side strip angle range, the direction of self-aligning moment uh, due to pneumatic trail is the same as that due to mechanical trail. As you can see here, the direction of both rotations are the same. Uh, therefore, total trail is equal to mechanical trail plus pneumatic trail. In the higher side slip angle range, the self-aligning moment is acting in the opposite direction compared with that in the lower side slip angle range so that its direction is running into screen at this point uh, with the lever arm length L sub P, which is pneumatic trail. On the other hand, aligning moment by mechanical trail is acting as the same way as before so that its direction is coming out of screen at this point uh, with the lever arm length L sub M, uh, which, is the, which is the mechanical trail. Therefore, for the front left tire steered to the right, in the relatively higher side slip angle range, the direction of self-aligning moment uh, due to pneumatic trail is the opposite to that due to mechanical trail. In the red arrow here represents the moment by pneumatic trail and the green arrow represents the moment by mechanical trail. As you can see here, uh, both directions over rotations are exactly opposite. Therefore, total trail is equal to mechanical trail minus pneumatic trail. But if the mechanical trail is greater than pneumatic trail, the aligning moment is still forcing the wheel in the direction straight ahead. The answer to the quiz is mechanical trail can be made regardless of cast angle. Here we have a summary. Mechanical trail is the projected length onto the longitudinal direction uh, for the distance between the points uh, where the wheel center vertical axis and steering axis uh, meet the road surface respectively. In the lower side slip angle range, total trail becomes the sum of mechanical trail and the pneumatic trail. In the relatively higher side slip angle range, a total trail becomes mechanical trail minus pneumatic trail. If you watch the previous videos, you can easily understand upcoming videos. Recently, I explained the importance of height of center of gravity uh, for the banked round road. Last week, I explained the go diagram for both of radial tire and cross ply tire. The next video will be tire side slip part 7. I will explain the lateral force and the self-aligning moment uh, with respect to the tire speed. You can catch the uh, brand new videos uh, by free subscriptions. So what are you waiting for? See you in the next video. Goodbye guys.